Dakota had an anger problem out of this world due to everything that had happened. I used to do like counseling and stuff like that with teachers or in school, but it never did anything. But when I played football, it helped me a lot. I was able to be physical and kind of take out a lot of frustration and anger. It was good because you stayed focused. You never had time to get involved in the streets or nothing like that. It became a way of life for me. Dakota and his brother, they really loved football. And their older brother told me I was too hard on them. They were just children. Let them play. And I'm like, you know, you don't understand. This is how they'll go to college. This will pay for that. And it did. Aaron looking, throws middle of the field, intercepted, and then it's Dakota Dixon who picked it off in the end zone for Wisconsin. It very easily could have been a different path for him, and uh, I think he just appreciates every single day the people that he's around and the situation he's in today. I knew what he was looking for in the school. He wanted a coaching staff where he felt some kind of connection to, and Dakota values relationships because of some of his experiences. And my advice to him was just to, you know, choose the place that you feel in your heart is the place where you want to be. Come on, Diesel. Come on, Diesel. It was just the people. I felt that I could see myself here after college, like after football. Yeah, don't worry about that yet. Just, okay. just focus on your next internship, let's, but let's set it up well. Yeah. I had a great opportunity this past summer with Dr. Irene. She's a sports psychologist here, and I had an internship with her. My plan is I want to get my master's in counseling psychology yeah. and then hopefully get a license in sports psychology. And uh, I just want to help, help people, help student athletes. He knows there's other people out there that probably are going to do the same thing. And I think that motivates him to say, hey, you might be going through a rough time right now, but it can be better. He wants to get back to those young people and show them that you can do it, you can be successful. I admire who he is. I admire that he is driven academically, coming through what he came through. He's a 22-year-old man that's got it figured out.